In this video you will learn about basics of TypeScript and interfaces inside Angular. Hi, I am Alexander Kocherhin from Monster Lessons Academy, where I am teaching you how to become a developer or improve your skills of being a developer in learning by doing way. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will link everything that I am mentioning in the description box below. So let's jump right into it. In previous video, we finished moving our logic and our users from our users list inside our app component. So now our users list is completely reusable. But now I want to talk a little bit about TypeScript and its benefits. And you can see in our app component, for example, that we are mainly using just plain JavaScript. Because here we don't have any types, we simply write here array and objects and nothing really special and related to the TypeScript. The only thing that we are writing regarding TypeScript is typing of uh, parameters in functions and what these functions are returning. And this is it. But of course it's not that much TypeScript and this is actually good because the level of entrance is a little bit lower. But to write good Angular applications you need to master TypeScript. We won't master it of course in this video, but at least you need to understand some basics of doing a good application. And when all people are just starting with Angular or with TypeScript, they are writing just plain JavaScript code without thinking in entities and interfaces and types like they should if they want to work with TypeScript. Basically here we have for example users and if I will uh, check this property in the TypeScript as you can see that this is just users which is an object with ID, name and age and it is an array. So here at the end you can see the square brackets, this means that this is the array. So this is the value and the type that TypeScript understood by itself regarding what is it about. But actually it is like we are writing in JavaScript, so array of objects. But we can go deeper. We can for example say, ok, we are working with users, so our application has users inside. And if we have users and we work with users, they are normally uh, looking everywhere the same. So we can create the interface to describe one user. And then we can know always that at all parts of our application we are working with the same type of data and this is our user. So let's look how we can do it. So first of all in our source app I want to create new folder types where we will store everything which is related to TypeScript. And the first thing that I want to create is an interface for our user, because we are talking now about entities and architecturing of our application. So we are saying, ok, our application has users inside, so we need user interface.ts and inside we can register it like export interface and here is the name, so here will be user interface. And here we just put brackets and inside we can specify what properties do we need. And here we can open our app component TS and see these properties here. So first of all we are defining, ok, we have an ID and it is a string. Then we have a name and it is also a string. And then we have age and it is number. This is it. Doesn't look very complicated, is it? So here we simply have a word interface and here is the name of this interface. So basically this is the schema of our user. And now every developer in our application can see this user interface and understand what is it about. Now let's check how we can use this user interface inside our code. For example here we can say colon and then here will be user interface and I just click and get auto import and here will be square brackets. Why is it like this? Normally if we create uh, some property inside class we are writing something like foo then colon and the type of this property for example string. And this is how we define the type for the property. But if it is an array then we need after the type to put square brackets. So in this case we are saying ok here we have an array of user interfaces. And let's check now the 
type of this property and as you can see it's not just an object anymore but it's user interface array and why it is better than it was before let's try to add some property that doesn't exist here for example foo equals foo and i just save the file and I get immediately the warning from TypeScript and here it is saying that uh, what we did here is not assignable to type user interface and here is unknown property foo which does not exist in type user interface. So this is the help that we must get from TypeScript because we are using TypeScript and it doesn't make any sense to avoid TypeScript and not get some usefulness from it. So here we know, okay, we can't throw inside some properties that does not exist. And also the benefit is that people are seeing here, okay, here we have users variable and the type is user interface. And they can jump directly in user interface and see what properties are inside. So they don't need to guess what is it about, is it an object or is it the same data everywhere. So let's check what we have here. Now here we have, for example, these users. And if we will check these typings, here we also have user interface, which means here we didn't write the type, but here TypeScript understands that this is the single user with user interface, which means here we can't directly write dot and some foo, for example, because we will get the same error that foo does not exist on type user interface. Also, we are getting a nice autocomplete user dot and we see all properties with types because we defined everything inside our interface. So these are a lot of benefits which we got just by creating one simple interface. Now let's check our add user. As you can see here, we're creating new user. And if we will just inspect it, you can see that this is simply the object. And we can also define here that this should be user interface. In this case, we will also avoid problems if we will throw some property with that, which does not exist inside here, because now it is completely forbidden. And it's also really readable because you understand what interface is it. The main point of TypeScript, which is quite difficult, is to start thinking in interfaces and typings. Because you don't just write code anymore, you write more typings and interfaces. Which means you need to think about your application as a communication between different interfaces. And uh, when you have the whole application covered in different interfaces, it's much easier to support, to understand what is it about, and to change. Because because when everything is correctly typed, you don't have somewhere any. And just to remind you what is any in TypeScript, it is basically the thing that you almost never should use. But of course, all people are using it, because it is the simple solution to every problem. So here we can simply say, instead of all this, that we have any. What is any? It means everything, which means basically that TypeScript doesn't change anything, we can throw inside what properties we want and nothing will be validated. People normally are writing any if they want a short fix of TypeScript error or if they don't know how to fix a specific TypeScript error. And yes, you can write it, but with every any that you can have in your code, you will get bugs later because this code is not covered by TypeScript. This is why I would recommend never use any and always try to cover your code with types and interfaces. Now let's jump inside our users list and here inside component we have an input and actually if we will inspect this property here, users, you can see that here the value is any and it doesn't mean uh, that it is bad but it just means that if we don't set here the value it will be any by default and of course we don't want any, we want really to specify here that we are we want to get here user interface array because we know that we are getting here the array of users and now when person reads this for the first time it's much easier to understand what data comes inside because here you can see always the interface and inspect this interface.
The same you can do with remove user and add user. For now it's not actually clear what we are passing inside remove user. And just to remind you in HTML we are calling remove user and we are passing inside user ID. And what we can do here after event emitter we can open the tag and write here string. And what is actually doing? Now we specified that we need to pass inside our emit a string. So not a number, not an object, not some interface, but a string. So basically it is generic, but I don't want to talk uh, about generics in this video because it's much more difficult topic. You can just understand that at some methods or in some classes you can specify inside tag the type which you will give inside. So here we are giving string and at least it gives us some understanding of what we need to give inside to remove a user. We can do the same thing about add user event. As you can see here we are giving inside a string so we can specify here also a string. And in this case if we give here for example empty object then TypeScript should swear. So here I am giving empty object and we get TypeScript error that empty object is not assignable to parameter of type string. So this means that our code becomes less and less error problematic because a lot of stuff is covered with TypeScript and we just can't make an error. In this video you learned how to write TypeScript interfaces and how important is it to cover your code correctly with TypeScript. And if Angular for Beginners course is too easy for you, don't forget to check my advanced Angular course, which is going 14 hours, where we are building the whole Angular application from start to the end. And I will link the link to this course and all my other courses in the description box below. And if you like this video and you want more content like this, don't forget to put thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in my next video.